guys, I got my handy face scrub and y'all, I know what my skin tone and how my skin is. Light skin usually get splotches or get, you can easily see the, I, I call them little moles or freckles. The older you get, well, some people call them age spots. I don't know what it is, but it seems like the lighter your skin is, but you got melanin in your skin, you tend to get these brown patches or blotches along with a lot of these little moles or freckles that pop up. I even got them on my back, you guys. Look at it. And so, they look like little moles to me. And I guess that's just how my skin is made because I have melanin. But, I might not have a deep melanin. Get what I'm saying? So, my skin tends to mold up or get splotches of brown on. So, what I use for a, to try to keep my color in balance. And I've been using this and it may work, it may not work. But this is what I use, the Ambi Correction complicated uh what it is yeah complexion cleaning bar that is what I use on my face and then after the fact I would put a moisturizer on, on my face and you know you know I don't wear makeup y'all already know that and when I do wear I wear makeup let me take that back I wear makeup on occasion get what I'm saying on occasion and then it don't stay on that long when I do put it on. It's just to test it out to see do it mit, uh, match my skin tone. And if it match and it can look look natural because I never worn makeup like that. So me wearing makeup every day will surprise people because they, they ain't used to seeing a made up face. They just used to seeing my face. See what I'm saying? My face. And yeah, I scrub and scrub and scrub. And I'm gonna put the description in this look in the box below. Y'all back in the day when I had my locks, these little face things came out and people were advertising these little face things, these face scrubbers, because it comes with four attachments to it, you guys, like these right here. And one is big, it comes with four attachments. And back then people were actually giving you codes. To purchase this and so that's how I got mine by using one of the um, one of my uh, people that I love to watch on YouTube she had a cold in her so I used it and I got it for maybe like 30 30 percent off and at that time that was pretty decent get what I'm saying but it still works and it's still going good so now I'm gonna wash this uh, soap off my face Getting the soap off, and yes, you guys, it do makes your face feel dry. That's when I go in, okay, with a moisturizer. And even though some people call it bleaching your skin or whatnot, y'all, I can't have splotches. So, yes, I do put it right here, as y'all can see, right there. 
All right, there is, and the older I get, I can notice the brown splotches coming in. And if you can see there, as well as up under my chin, and some of these may be blackhead uh, spots where I don't pop the uh, blackhead and it left a, a mark. But, and this is our actual mold. And I look at my face and I see discrepancies. You know what I'm saying? It's flawed. Put it that way. So, being that I don't wear makeup and do the whole makeup thing. You know, I, I, I do want to have a clear face. I want my face to be clear in one color. So, I do use the Ambi Fade Cream on right here on my cheeks where you see the brown. Anywhere you see the brown spots right there. I do put Ambi there. But as for a regular moisturizer, you guys... I actually use the uh, Oil of Olay Moisturizing Cream. And this is what I use on my face. For one, it smells good. Two, it has it, it makes my face to me feel and look so, you know, that make the collagen to me pop. You know, it got some moisturizer in it. But yeah, I do put this a little bit of fade cream on here like so and it's very little because I know where my where these spots at to me so and I let it sit for a few Even though I know that one ain't going nowhere. With all these brown spots, y'all. That is where I tend to put this at. Right there. And I said, maybe it's trying to tell me I need to start wearing makeup in my older age. <laughs> you got it. But, getting to that makeup thing, you guys. Let's, let's put that in there. And I want to show y'all something. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, you guys. Y'all see that big brown spot right there? Y'all, that ain't never been no hair there. But I don't, I guess it's the shade where hair is supposed to be. I don't know. But, yeah, imperfections of the face, I'm assuming. That's what I'm going to call it. Imperfection and flawed of the face. And I'm just pretty much basically showing y'all what I put on my face to feel confident and feel good. Besides, if I besides if I wasn't wearing makeup, you know what I'm saying? And I'm pretty sure makeup will cover this. But again, you guys, I don't wear makeup because I don't think that I have found my true color. So, with that being said, with that being said, you guys, I'm going to put on this moisturizer right here. With that being said, I took the quiz for the makeup thing. I took the quiz for, um, I, I think it's called eye makeup. And they give you a quiz. And on this quiz, you, um, uh, they give you your exact skin tone and if you're not satisfied you can send it back within 14 days and if you decide to keep it then they keep your money <sighs> okay so face and moisturize this is my clean face on my morning routine get what i'm saying this is my morning routine got a clean face Let's see. This, let me see, let me see, let me see. Okay. This is what I got in the mail yesterday. 
and it is the I'm Pro Makeup. And this is the packet that it came in. I haven't opened it until now. Hmm. The, uh, Y'all see that, right? And according to the quiz, according to the quiz, this is what it looks like. Okay? Let's see? And y'all, this, and I just wanted to test it to see. And I got the uh, concealer, and I only got one. And it tells you instructions on, hey, if you buy it, you can try it. If it don't work, you can send it back, and they will refund your money, okay? I'm sending that. Let's see. Ooh. So, and this is a guarantee. If they get your foundation wrong or... <clears throat> Or whatnot. 75% off. And this is what's in the box. And y'all, it was the way the commercial was or the, the sale pitch was. You know, you got a lot of the girls on YouTube that's actually going on YouTube putting this on and saying, Oh, I did I can't believe it matches my skin, you know. Come on, y'all seen it. Y'all seen the ads for the makeup. So this was $29.98. $29.98 for this little thing of foundation. That is guaranteed according to my quiz that I filled out online. This is my color. Okay, this is what they're saying. This is your color, Golden. <laughs> All right. Now, being that I don't wear makeup, you guys, I feel like I can take this if I want it to look natural. Let's see. We finna see. It is hard. Let's see. Ooh, that looks light, don't it? Mm. Let's see. Especially, and y'all, I'm putting it on all of my spots, okay? And I hope I'm putting enough. Y'all know I'm not a makeup wearer, okay? We're going to put it on like that. Then we're going to take this beauty blender. And we're going to see. What is they talking about, huh? What is they talking about? Does it blend? Does it look like I have on makeup? Get what I'm saying? I want to know. Okay. And I'm not doing the fancy stuff where I'm contouring and all of that. But we just trying to be in agreement that this is my color. And it looks natural, okay? What y'all think? Did it blend or did it blend? Okay. Does it look natural? Okay. I see. I got some. Mm. I don't know, y'all. Did I blend it in okay? Because I'm. Or is it just. <laughs> Is it just me that I don't know what I'm doing? <laughs> Cause to me, 
blended it in all over. Okay. All right, y'all. Did I hit all the spots that I was going to hit? Y'all know you can't blend it in and not get that neck. Because you be looking two-toned. Right. Right. Let's see. Well, to me, it did blend in, and it do look natural, but being that I know I don't wear makeup, I can still see the imperfections. I can still see the brown right here, and I guess I didn't put on enough, but that's the thing, y'all. I like bare face. I like my natural face, but... Even though I like my natural face, sometimes I do want to cover up. And I don't think this is going to cover up. That I go with a deeper, darker concealer. But as far as it blending in to my skin, it is, I do believe, a perfect match, y'all. Mm -hmm. Just bring it all down. I put it in. I probably don't wipe it off, but how goes y'all? How goes? Fresh face. It don't feel like I got on makeup, but I know I do. And voila. What do you guys think? Coming in close. I'm looking, but I can still see all of my imperfections. Now, I don't know what other people can see, but I can see my imperfections. Get what I'm saying? And do I like this? I don't know. Does it fit my face? Does it do, does it do what it said it does? Did my skin test or makeup quiz come out correctly? To answer the question, it does blend in with my face. The quiz did get it right. This is my color, and I think it is a nine. Or do they tell you your color? Concealer 090. This is uh, 90. So, whatever that means. And the... Y'all, this is actually hard, hard plastic and it's pretty heavy. It's pretty heavy. I like it though, but and it's a uh, multi-use perfecting concealer. So, and according to them, is this the vegan one? Nope. This is what I got for twenty nine ninety nine twenty nine ninety eight from Eo. Make it in uh, this right here, y'all. However you pronounce that. But um, I'm pro makeup. And it's all on it on Instagram and internet. But what do y'all think? Huh? Did it work for me? Y'all give me y'all opinion. How about that? Because I'm not a makeup guru. So I don't know. I like my eyebrows straggling. And my mustache hair. <laughs> I'm just trying to get rid of the spots. So I don't look like somebody tiger. A leopard. Get what I'm saying? But anywho. <clears throat> that is my get get ready with me early morning routine that is what i do for my face and 
<clears throat> you let the hair down. And you guys, my my daughter, this is her very first time braiding or doing hair on me, doing my hair. <clears throat> and y'all, I think she really did good with my hair because my hair is hard to grip because of the fineness of it. You know what I'm saying? And I wanted some big, big, y'all look at these parts. Mm. She might have got down for, for, her, for her mom. For real, for real, you guys. Y'all see them parts, right? This is the straightest my hair ever been, you guys. And I think she did a wonderful job on my hair. For it to be her first time doing it. Look at that. Y'all, I'm loving my hair. I did her hair. And then she did my hair. But, now her hair came out professional. And everybody's telling me that my hair looked professional. And she was like, Mama, I don't, I don't know. I need to practice. I need to practice. But y'all, I think she did really well. But anywho, I am going to end this video. This is my early morning uh, get ready with me routine. That I wanted to come in and show y'all what I put on my face. As well as what I ordered from the uh, Instagram. <coughs> that they were showing out. And also, this is the day that I go get my second shot. My Moderma shot for COVID. So y'all pray for me. Pray that I got the blood of Jesus. He's healing. Already healing. Okay. And with that, you guys, y'all stay blessed. Stay faithful. Stay humble. And most of all, you guys, be kind to everyone you meet. Okay. And with that, I am going to say, hey, you guys, I am trying to get to at least a thousand subscribers. So if you, if you for me, then hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Share the video to your neighbors. Okay. And with that, you guys, I am going to say peace. Mm -hmm.